lies, distortions, government spin, research used to prop up policies and inconvenient evidence is often buried. Now, who says that? Would you believe MPs? This is from today's Daily Telegraph, a big article by Roger Highfield, and the heading is According to a damning report by MPs, research is used to prop up policies and inconvenient evidence is often buried, says Roger Highfield. And it goes on, I mean, it's a long article, I shan't read it all. If you go to the Telegraph website, it's all there. It says, if the government was a scientist, I'm reading this off a screen, so that's why I keep looking down. If the government was a scientist, its research funds would have dried up long ago. It would have been kicked off the international conference circuit shunned by the top journalists and cold-shouldered by its peers. This is the damning implication of a report by MPs that slipped out last week with little comment or debate, although many will shrug, its con sh shrug at its conclusions that, surprise surprise, politicians are less than straightforward in how they commission and use research. The findings make grim reading. At best, Ministers and shadow spokesmen cannot distinguish between anecdote and science. At worst, they can be dodgy operators who use research selectively to prop up policies, or even fraudsters who think nothing of scientific malpractice. So, there you have it. So what hope have we got for the results of the Gibson inquiry which come out on the 23rd of November. What hope have we got for changing the minds of those nice people who have said that uh, there's to be no inquiry into uh, or no investigation into the possibility that people with ME and chronic fatigue syndrome actually have Lyme disease and also said that or just recently passed a most discredit, uh, disreputable report uh, focusing on this fraudulent cognitive behavioural therapy and graded exercise treatment for chronic fatigue syndrome and ME. What, what chance have we got when, uh, when the government, uh, the MPs have openly admitted now that uh, the government will just bury stuff that um, that is inconvenient. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, highlight that just to uh, cheer you all up and uh, say good night.